Hello, everyone. Nice. Welcome to episode 263 of the official podcast. A very special day because we've brought back uh, just one of our most favorite, most anticipated returns of a guest ever. It is Jericho, also wow. known as Tucker, also known as Mr. Boner, as we've just yes. discovered in the pre-show. Um, <laughs> man, it's so good to see you again. It's so yeah. good to see you again. I get asked uh, quite often when I'm coming back, and um, actually as recently as <laughs> last night, and I was I was just like, I'm never coming <laughs> Are you back. You talking I about those when, guys. I, when I asked you? <laughs> yeah, oh, was that, yeah, was that you? Yeah, I was like, wow, what a weird timed question. Yeah, no. <laughs> No, man, it's super good to have you back. You're one of my favorite, well, one of my personal, I don't know about the other boys, but one of my personal favorite (laughs) guests that we've had on the show. He was talking Um, about your out of context gifts a little moment ago, actually. Yeah, you got like a YouTube, Mm -hmm. not YouTube, like a Twitter page. I'm not sure if it's official or run by you or whatever, whatever the deal is there. Run by, um, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. I'll compliment you after you tell oh, me the Oh, context. no, I was just gonna, I gotta give credit to the person who runs it, because it's not me. It's uh, this this wonderful woman, Jades, from uh, from the UK, mm. and she's just, she just started it a couple years ago, and I was like, thank God somebody's doing my job for me, because I, like, I can't, <laughs> half the stuff she posts, I'm like, I really wish you wouldn't have done that, but that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's like a Duh. montage of all of your worst moments. Well, <laughs> you know, most embarrassing. I don't know what it is. It's funny. It's funny. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really fun to go through and watch your out of context moments because you're you you're just a man with so many stories and so many wild moments that it's it's crazy. And now it, there's just a page of of those moments, and I love scrolling through them. So thank you. What was her name? Jade. Jade. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. I hope. I hope. Uh, I hope Tucker's out of context moments have made you a millionaire in the process through Twitter ad revenue. <laughs> Shh, chill. Oh, we yeah, gotta work on the ad ahead. revenue. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta enable CPMs. her some for I bet the CPMs look at nice. <laughs> yeah, holiday mm-hmm. season, Lots you know. Lots of boner money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> nah, it's uh yeah. Right. So what have you been up to, man? <laughs> it's last three years. <laughs> hey, so like give us something. <laughs> Um, man, actually, you know what's I, one big thing that happened before? I mean, I guess in between we last talked is I started a record label, um, for mm-hmm. like oh. DMCA free music. It's all EDM, so if you don't like that, don't fucking listen. But um, it's yeah, I I really liked music stuff. I go to a lot of shows. Uh, I I have a lot of friends in the music industry. I live in Los Angeles, so um, yeah, I'm I'm that guy. Um, and uh, I really wanted to do something <laughs> outside of streaming. It just made sense because all the DMCA free music sucks. What are we listening to? Like Metroid music or something right now? This is fine. Yeah, they can't hear it. Mega Metroid. Oh, this this doesn't even need to be DMCA free music. (laughs) This is is just Kaya's taste (laughs) of music. Just in the background. (laughs) (laughs) I'll play whatever the hell I want. This is Patreon exclusive, so people on YouTube or uh, Spotify can't even hear it. They can't take us out for that, right? They can't, no. like, DMCA us for our private <laughs> listening habits. I mean, technically, you have to pay to listen to this music, right? Technically, you're pay-gating copyrighted music. Oh, yeah, shit. I guess. You know what? I'm actually fine. surprised. <laughs> that, like, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's probably okay, uh, I it's, think. I'm honestly <laughs> surprised I haven't come for Discord yet, because Discord is, like, used by so many people to just have movie nights and shit with their friends, and you can stream you're anything, right. and nobody seems to give a fuck. I'm very well, you know, I, surprised I by th- that. I think the child porn part is probably a bigger problem for Discord than the uh, <laughs> streaming. But, well, you know, no, you no, know, no, no. Child porn that. doesn't make money, but the movies do. You're right. Yeah. That's Are actually, you kidding me? It doesn't, it doesn't yet. No, no way. Child porn Discord. absolutely does make money, right? Like, well, not from through Discord. The trade. Yeah, not from no, Discord. Probably not through Discord. Not yet. Yeah, I the mean, predators aren't paying Discord. for you fucking. Could totally set up a. Nitro. Yeah, they're not yeah, buying. You Nitro. could totally set up like a Discord <laughs> where you uh, you All sell like access for one arrow. <laughs> yeah, allegedly. <laughs> uh, imagine them just like Nitro well, Discord- boosting the ch- the channels <laughs> yeah. the top ten oh, server. God. Discord recently announced that they're gonna do the Patreon shit where you can pay different tiers. And like get different roles. So, mm-hmm. um, mm. you know, you can have like servers where you pay $5 a month or $20 a month to get a certain role and access to channels. So mm. maybe oh, we got to get in on that. I'm okay with that. Porn. 
Yeah, we, yeah. we got to get in on that. People in this fucking Discord love having their names slightly different colors, I've noticed. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy the psychology that or impact it, that it, has on people. It's literally class wars based off of name color <laughs> in a chat. And you're like, all right, there's some psychological <laughs> tests being run over here. <laughs> we, have, we, have, we have this, like, all of our roles in our uh, Discord server for our Patreon, they're all just slightly different shades of the color orange, but people go fucking insane for the darkest I orange. Know. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's literally like, the, like slight variation of yellowish orange and people really like it for some reason well now we don't have the, roles like, anymore do we well we kind of uh, we have one role so then these are like well, rare yeah, try to unite them if you have a different yeah, role it's... you've you've been fucking grandfathered in we we tried to bring the yeah. colors together and it really did not work out well in in the context of our discord server it was a slight orange war that i noticed <laughs> happening wasn't pretty. It wasn't a great time <laughs> in our history. If um, they do the money tier thing, I really hope they can let you select like the tiers for different members because I just out of a pettiness, I want to make our moderator Brady pay a fine like every month to keep being our moderator. <laughs> just to annoy him. Strategy. Just something petty like one cent a month. <laughs> yeah. That, that'll add up quickly, I assume. Yeah, it, we soon we'll be making uh -huh. enough money off Brady alone to not even worry <laughs> about it. We'll, we'll delete the entire <laughs> Patreon and just rely on Brady's goodwill. We'll make a hundred um, bucks then, fuck it. What, what, um, what did the, you guys want to talk about... Sorry, go ahead, Jerks. No, I was just going to say, what the fuck were you saying about DMCA music and your little label that you got going on, Jericho? Uh, I mean, yeah. I, that was the gist of it. Yeah, we, I mean, uh, anybody can use the music without permission. You're never going to get like a copyright strike. You're not your VODs won't be muted on Twitch. And like not to not to uh, I mean, yes, to slander everybody else. It's like we, we have like real artists on our label. So like <laughs> people who tour, you can like go to a concert and listen to them. Like it's not you know, it's not it's not just like elevator music. So the label's called Night Mode, uh, all one word. And you can find our playlists on Every streaming service, Spotify, SoundCloud. Who uses SoundCloud anymore? I don't know. YouTube. Are you, are you the sole owner of this? Um, no. Whatever, whatever uh, it is. Co-owner. So my other half runs uh, another label, and he's been running one for like, uh, I guess like eight or nine years, called uh, Disciple Records. And um, he obviously was the one that helped me out, because you know how fucking hard it is to learn how to like do licensing for music? <laughs> like The whole industry is super convoluted. Yeah. It sucks. Oh, it's man. not fun. So uh, thankfully, I had somebody with a brain to help me. So I'm just, you know, running around it's all, like... It's all set up to benefit them, right? Like all the, the legal jargon dude, is designed I mean, around making yeah. it as easy as possible for them to take advantage of situations. So of course, yeah. it's complicated. Yeah, I mean, you you guys all know how bad like DMCAing or at least like YouTube content IDing is, where it's like you use five seconds of my song and I'll take all of the revenue for the entire twenty minute video. It's like what the fuck is like? How does that make any sense at all? So I just like I got tired of dealing with that, and also was in a position that we could not have that happen anymore for the stuff that we work on. That is such a boner mm -hmm. move, dude. You got tired such of that problem, boner. so you just fixed it. <laughs> oh, she's like, fuck just it, I'll do it myself. It. <laughs> Yeah, that's fucking cool. See, that's what that's the power of the Jericho boner. He, he cuts through. <laughs> that's it's boner, boner tucker, forceful, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's boner tucker to you. <laughs> that is super that's, cool, though. I think that's, that's awesome. great. Not only that, I've <laughs> seen recently. Recently, you've been getting into the world of athletics, and by that I mean bridging the gap between athletics and gaming. How's that been? Oh, All right, well, you, you talking about like the NFL stuff? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm a huge Ravens fan. Uh, grew up in Baltimore, 18 years. So, um, I like there's nobody who gives a shit about the Ravens in Los Angeles. Like it's a small market team, whatever the uh, hell. And it turns out that because nobody cares about my team, I was like one of the few easy uh, people to find who cares about the team. The NFL <laughs> went around to a bunch of the uh, the football teams and were like, hey, we need. We need gamers to capture the youth because apparently nobody wants to watch sports anymore. And they flew me out to play video games, uh, like play Madden um, on in like on the Jumbotron in the on the field with uh, a guy who I had talked to before, Ronnie Stanley, who's um, who uh, who isn't playing right now. He's hurt, but he was like our our, our offensive tackle or left tackle. Um, Funny thing, though, didn't actually play. Uh, it was all fake because how the Aww. fuck would you put an Xbox on the field and then route the HDMI to the Jumbotron? So I was like, 
okay, cool. And I don't even play Madden, but it was, I mean, like, I love the Ravens. I loved working with them, and it was cool to do that. But yeah, it was it was definitely so a PR thing. I it's genuinely right. thought you played Madden yeah. on there. I'm not gonna lie, they fooled me. They had like a they hidden fo- Xbox <laughs> console underneath the field, and then well, just directly underneath. They do it at movie theaters sometimes, and I yeah. thought, well, yeah. if we have the technology to do it there. We can probably do it on a jumbotron. Right? Can you imagine the input, like the latency of of playing on a <laughs> no. jumbotron? Yeah. Oh my god! But it's more so authentic bad. than acting and pretending that you're playing. Man, that shit wasn't even plugged in, and it was, and I don't know, like, they didn't show the screen very much, because it's like, when you look at the screen, it's not split screen, it's just one player on it, so I was like, all right, <laughs> like, just, <laughs> whatever you guys want to do is fine with me, I'm just here, I'm along for the ride. I didn't even notice, <laughs> I genuinely thought you guys were playing, I was like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> it worked on Charlie, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah, you just ruined the mystique now for I'm me. I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> Smoke and mirrors, baby, that's showbiz. So wait, uh, <laughs> so you went out there and played on the field or whatever, you, like the, the you played the console game on the field. Were sure. people in the stadium watching? No, no. It was a, yeah, it was empty. Yeah. Okay. So let me say, tell you, the only people around were the grounds crew, and they were fucking pissed because oh, they were be trying pissed. to mow the grass, and the the like team kept setting up like the table on the grass that they were actively mowing. So they were getting into it, and I was like, I've never seen grounds crew like yell at the NFL execs or something like that. It was weird. <laughs> That's where all the power lies in the ground crew <laughs> in these NFL yeah. organizations. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I'd be fucking pissed if I went to like a if if I went to like a sports game, sat in the crowd, paid for my tickets, sat down with a you know hot dog and a brewski or whatever the fuck you do at these sports stadiums. And instead, instead of watching some big meaty men tackle each other, a pasty white nerd came out and played Xbox for <laughs> 30 minutes. I'd be pretty pissed. No. So I, I'm glad that there was no one there for this little I'd session. Be, yeah, man, especially so because I don't even play Madden. Like, look, I love football, but like, I'm not a, like, I, you know, I'm a casual fan. Like, I don't know like what the play name is. If somebody's like, I ran a naked boot lap route thing. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Did they catch it or not? Like, I don't yeah. <laughs> like that's about as far as I go with it. So. Um, I'm glad they didn't make me play. It would have been rough. Oh, man, I would have loved to have seen you play. That would have been a great clip for the Out of Context Jericho moments. Oh, no. Yeah, it would have had a field day. (laughs) All right, so before we move on, Andrew. Yeah. My beard's getting itchy. What do I do? Go fuck (laughs) yourself. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Over to you, Jericho. (laughs) I can't grow facial hair, guys, so over to Charlie. Yeah, someone with a beard take this one. All right, well, I know what you need to do, and it's you need to ask Andrew nicely. What should he do, Andrew? Please tell him. (laughs) Go fuck himself. (laughs) By using a cheap, terrible razor. (laughs) One that'll cut your face and not shave you cleanly. But that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is a high-quality razor. What we're here for is a lovely, smooth, buttery razor. Well, we're here for Harry's, then. This is the year to give the man in your life Harry's. I don't care who that man is. It could be your dad, your uncle, your dad's uncle. Could be your husband. Could be you. Me. I, yeah, I'm the man in my life. Uh-huh. Could be us. Buy us Christmas gifts and send it to a, I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Was that the end of the ad read? Yeah, yeah it's still going. <laughs> what, what happened there? What ha- was, is this a bit? I don't know. Did he? Did he? Did he? Are you good? Uh, we could do another clap sync, and I'll do the ad again if that works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fine. After mm-hmm. one, three, two, one. Anyway, look, Harry's <laughs> razors. Okay, there's a lot of problems in life. There's a lot of things that are not going right. There's a lot of things breaking. There's a lot of things you look at and go, hey, this should work. I fixed this a couple days ago, and then it doesn't work, and you wonder you wonder why. But it doesn't matter, because something that's always going to work for you is Harry's razors. Give the man in your life a Harry's razor, and, well, it might just be the only thing that he needs to get a close, comfortable, incredible shave with sharp, long-lasting blades that are as low as $2 each. Well, how could you say no to that? You can't, which is why this holiday season you can get $5 off plus free shipping, so you're already taking something that you know for a fact you want. 
and you're making it even cheaper? That's crazy. Hmm. You're going to get Harry's limited edition holiday shave set when you go to harrys.com slash official. The sets come with a weighted handle, three razor cartridges, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover. Everything he'll need for a smooth shave, all packaged in a handsome holiday box. Claim your offer now by going to harrys dot com slash official h a r r y s dot com slash official five dollars off plus free shipping get some comfortable blades for your comfortable face shave yourself good and if you're a soft man boy like me and tucker who can't grow facial hair i recommend just buying the harry's and and looking at it with with love in your eyes for the beard <laughs> that you manifesting wish you could grow. hair yeah <laughs> Just rub it over your face and pretend to shave at least. At least then, I don't know, you'll feel a bit of skin-on-skin -skin action. Um, yeah, that's harrys.com slash official. Great razors. Thank you, Harrys. Go check them out. Oh. Thanks, Harrys. Yeah, what's up with that, uh, Tucker? That whole not growing facial hair shit. Kind of sucks. You know I can't grow really uh, any hair. Like, I mean, obviously, I got hair on, around my dick, but like... <laughs> that's it it's i mean it's that and my head and my armpits i don't know what's going on my dad's super hairy he looks like uh um, same i don't get i it. mean but like i wish i could pull a photo of my dad shirtless up out of context that sounds awful I, <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> like, i don't like all right my dad is the hairiest person alive and whenever somebody's like nah dude my dad's hairy i'm like you just don't understand my dad's covered in like three inches of white hair his whole body it's like a pole, I, it's man. unnormal. It's unnormal, unnatural. <laughs> I don't know. What about uh, what about this? This might be too personal for you. Feel free to you know uh, talk about your dad instead. But what about your asshole? Is it super hairy? No, not that hairy. Mine is. So that's what where about all your my dad's hair goes. Asshole? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, I I would I would probably not cry too much if I had to wax my ass. But like you know, it's not. It's not baby smooth. If I could be, you know, I'd be like a naked mole rat, like less maintenance everywhere. It fucking sucks. I, I hate having having a hairy asshole and no facial hair is like the worst gift from God. <laughs> it's like the worst possible combination. Sucks. I just really don't think your ass is that hairy. You always oh, I, hype it up. I will so show much. you. Yeah, I don't believe it. I will it. show you. Like everyone in my life can attest to the fact that my ass is hairy. It's so hairy. Hmm. I, I can. Pro why would I lie about Prove that? It. First of all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could prove it. It's just if you want it, if you if you really want the proof, because I I can't think of a like, single person who should. Yeah. Like bend over and arch your back and look back at, into the camera. So this ass is all yours, Kaya. Is that what you want? Dangle your balls between your cheeks. <laughs> 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 and wear a French maid costume just for proof. Yeah. I just think you've over you. I just genuinely think you've overhyped it. You put such like a crazy mystique on it now. I just can't imagine it lives up to it. Especially when we have people like me and Kaya in here whose asses I I don't need to see Kaya's ass to know that it is unbelievably yeah. like hairy. Look, and I'm not going to say Kaya. that I'm not going to say that it's more Harry than Kaya's because I, he, you know, look at Kaya. He's a fucking already a bear of a man. That that ass is definitely Harry. There's no debating that. That's why it's so weird in my situation is because like Tucker, I can't grow hair anywhere, but it naturally comes in on the ass, and I don't get it. But I don't know if it's Harry than Kaya's. So, I mean, no, I bet not. Do you? It's a pretty simple question. Like, do you feel like you shit through? Oh like, yeah. A, oh, like yeah, a yeah, field yeah, yeah. of grass every time you see, see that's just awful why do you it's put like a up cheese grater oh I, I don't God. i don't want it but it grows back so quickly and shaving and like waxing yeah, like if shaving i shave makes it worse yeah exactly no but, but like what do you mean? the one time i shaved it it turned my ass into swamp ass for like i don't know three months yeah, after that, it, that, it like, sucked I, it's so cruel Life it blows. Life like I tried cool. shaving my ass once in my life, and I immediately noticed, like, okay, I feel the sweat way more. And yeah, yeah. Like Jackson said it's like swamp ass. And also, when you fart, they're like so gross because you can feel the air bubbles like escaping yeah. your ass cheeks with way too much accuracy. It's, it's yucky. Yeah, that's that's the nice thing about having ass hair is it's like a a nice silencer on your on on your favorite firearm. It's like it muffles the noises a little bit and adds a bit of cushion. But everything nah, other yeah. than that, it's like itchy, annoying. It, uh, it, I mean, there's still swamp ass. I'm not gonna lie, but it's not 
nearly as much swamp pass. Well, what so you could like, do, Jackson, you could style it. So, like, you could give it, like, a part in the middle, so that way when you shit, it doesn't get there. So you just put, like, <laughs> hair gel on your hair and push it to the sides. No, dude. <laughs> it's like a comb over when you, yeah. when you look down there. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> like, make it look like a little toupee. Yeah, braid it and shit. <laughs> It won't like, how often much. do you really see your asshole? Or I could do the other way around, Charlie. I could get a mohawk, go straight down the middle, like it <laughs> rises towards the oh, middle. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's Ew. wrong with that, Tucker? Come on. I'm thinking, because like, I'm really sandworm. thinking about it. Like, this is what, this is what, I mean, in my head, if you could braid it like, like, you know, how dwarves do their beards or something <laughs> like that, like maybe you're onto something. This could be the new trend. You know how people styled their pubic hair back in like mm. the 80s? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah. surely like in the ancient Greek days, like maybe Pythagoras had a ass braid going on because that should have been, that would have been like super common back then, surely. Like having super greasy, hairy asses. I don't what, what think really so. Are? No, I really don't think so, because I don't think they would be growing much ass hair. Usually it's to make you warmer, right? Like, you grow hair on places you want to keep warm. Isn't that, like, why it's there? So why does my body want to keep me? my ass warm? I, I don't know. I'm not an ass scientist. I'm in America. I'm not in America. I'm in Australia. <laughs> it's, like, the hottest place ever. I see, <laughs> my body is betraying me. You're not going to, like, cool. reverse millions of years of evolution in 2,000 years, right? Like, it's not like humanity was just going to grow out of having ass hair. And isn't it, don't you have it, like, you, you're supposed to have hair I around your holes, right? Your mouth yeah. and your ass. Yeah. Why? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a seismologist <laughs> or whatever. Don't the, if we came from the monkeys, don't the monkeys have bare asses? Don't they have big giant red asses? Wait, like, what the fuck? You're right. <laughs> That's like one type of monkey. <laughs> well, there goes my theory. <laughs> Just blew Just that with the Joe open. Rogan argument there for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So, uh, yeah, how does that work? They just don't need warm asses? They like Jamie, it cold pull that up. there? Uh, I, I really Joe hope we don't evolve shit. past that. What I will say though is like I, I hate how like all the other hair around on your body except your head hair, it it grows to a certain <laughs> length and it just stays there. Like it self maintains its length and I still don't understand really? how that works. Yeah, like how do how does my chest hair like now to stop growing when it's reached oh. its uh, usual length? That's what I mean. And ass hair and like pubes. Because you keep cutting it, so it's scared to keep going. It doesn't. I don't, I don't know. Well, look at like your, what the fuck? Look at body hair, like your legs and You're arms. Right. They don't just keep growing. It stops. You're right. Yeah, that I too. I never thought about that. <laughs> you know, that's kind of haunting now to think about if it did operate that way. You're like, all right, I got to go get my fucking full body shave in. Like, like oh, that'd be really <laughs> oh, God, upsetting. Like a, like, like a dog groomer, you have to sit in yeah. that gigantic sink where they wash the dogs and just, some lady just fucking takes a razor to your ass. <laughs> Stimulates your anal glands. <laughs> okay, I don't, wait, what the hell? What kind of dog groomer are you going it's, to? It's, a full, it's the full package. Oh, okay. Dog groomers do, they clear out anal glands, that's a common yeah, they thing do. that they do. They do, yeah. My, my mother is a dog groomer, so... Uh, that that by the oh. way is the absolute worst smell I've ever smelled. Is a popped uh, dog anal gland. It is the worst smell. What the uh, fuck is it? it? Hasn't like even come I, close. I I only know this because I was watching Thousand Pound Sisters on TLC and they took their little <laughs> poodle or whatever the fuck it is to the dog rumor. Like, what is an anal gland and how do you pop it? Is it like a zit? Why don't we have one? It's like where the dirt collects into a, like a little spot. I think. Yeah, huh. it's like a, it's like a inbuilt septic tank almost. Oh, do they? Ha mm. Yeah, yes. hey Andrew. Oh, what I don't understand Barely. is why do we need to pop them if this is something that's natural and they just build it up by shitting and shit? Why? What? Like, what were they gonna do in the wild? Just rub okay. on shit, rub on yeah. things Stop. like that's, sharp that's, that's rocks the same until argument. it explodes. That's like that's like why do we need to like I you know fucking take medicine because like in the wild like. You know, if we know it's better if you if you fucking get, if you clean it out, then why not? 
So were dogs only living, like, did they have super short life expectancy out in the wild because of their anal glands and then we well, solved their crisis? No, <laughs> no dude, old, old dogs were like, ah, dude, raw meat from a fucking gazelle, let me eat that. Now my dog shits himself when I change his food from, like, <laughs> like yeah. salmon to I chicken. Know, we it's like, we really ruined so dogs. Far removed. Like, we ruined all pets, bro. It's like, I, I always think about this, what, because I'm super hyper alert with my cats, like, oh no, the, if I have a piece of chocolate or something lying around, I'm like, oh no, I treat it like nuclear waste that she doesn't, <laughs> uh, is not allowed near whatever. Or if yeah. she like, uh, like, you know, when your pet, you catch them, eat something off the floor and you don't know what the fuck they just ate, like a dust bunny or something and you want to rescue them. And then I think, well, you know, stray cats, they like walk through wet cement and then they lick their paws. They're like so fucking badass. And then I, I like hyperventilate over my little cat. <laughs> I do the same thing. Like if I eat grapes, I'll wash my hands twice before I even pet one of my dogs just in case there's like <laughs> grape juice left on my fingers. You're such a hypochondriac. Yeah. You probably did it for your own safety. You worried about <laughs> grape juice <laughs> affecting yourself. Yeah. You're not worried about the dogs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're, a, you're a good dog owner. Yeah, I try and be hyper vigilant on everything. But we really mm -hmm. did. Every domesticated animal has been made worse because of our domestication. I think. They're, they're I think just they're like, happier. Yeah. Well, yeah, on a base level, I guess. I, I guess I'd be happy too if I got my anal glands popped once every three months and I was feeling cleaner and lived <laughs> slightly longer. Is that maybe? Longer. Is is that like part of what dogs do when they stick their noses up each other's asses? Maybe they're just booping like the <laughs> anal to gland. Sniff the anal gland out. <laughs> <laughs> no, here, let me help you out, bro. <laughs> Finally, fuck. <laughs> this guy will feed me and do everything. He even grabs my shit, but he won't just give me a little pop. Like, come on. <laughs> That's so gross. The worst smell ever. Fuck. It's fucking 9.37 a.m. And I've been thinking about dog anal glands for like 20 minutes now. It's <laughs> <laughs> only up from here. Up Hell yeah. Uh. Well, would you like to th uh, think about breast milk instead, Jericho? Oh, yeah, yeah I've got some breast milk topic. stories. Okay, so last week or the week before, we were talking about breast milk, and Jackson admitted that he really, really wants to drink his mom's breast milk. Uh, no, I didn't. Jackson, have you been working at Activision? Yes, he did. <laughs> because apparently, new allegations are out at Activision mm. slash Blizzard. How does this keep apparently, happening? No, please. People... Uh, like pregnant ladies that work at the company allege that their breast milk is stolen from the fridges <laughs> at the company. No! So there's employees, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Right no! into the fridge. Under lock and key because they kept getting broken Ow! into and stolen. <laughs> they had to padlock their fridges down because the employees couldn't be trusted around breast what? milk. Bro, like... Oh my god, somebody was really like secret age, like, like pink panthering titty milk. That's so yeah. foul. It is nutty. It's the power that keeps on giving to make you make good games. You need that breast milk. It energizes you. Oh, it's like a Red Bull? Yeah. Like a gamer That's drink a almost? Stop. Mm. Do you what think is Division Blizzard, they had like a Mad Max setup. Bobby Kodak just had like his female employees being hooked up to milk tanks, oh. and then he just stores it in there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mother's just milk. A pump. <laughs> oh god that's Seriously, like a what whole the CEO just puts it in his coffee <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole thing there's like a uh, like a I don't want to say a documentary like a series on people who live and breathe by it there's like a family that replaced all of the milk with their mom's milk so like the husband uses it in the coffee the kids eat fucking cereal oh. with it and like which awful right um yeah can she keep, I just, keep up yeah What's that's wrong with what that? I was it's saying you gotta <laughs> well, my, I mean, she can't pump out three bowls of cereal worth, can she? I don't know. I'm not. Can you? If you treat her right. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, God damn. That's so foul, dude. Well, all right, Tucker, let me challenge your thought process sure. here. I okay. don't really want to, but I will. Because uh, we were talking about this the other week. What is it about? What, like, why are we so accepting to drink cow's milk? I'm not. Like, I'm comes... against cow's milk. Okay. Well, is there any milk that you like? Because it's you kind of fucked me already. If, milk. If... <laughs> I mean, cow milk is weird too. Like, That's I what mean, I'm it, the full, whole fucking got milk ad campaign had it, is turning everybody lactose intolerant. All right, there's a reason why I'm still munching on everything with dairy, and like other people are shitting their pants. It's not because <laughs> of genetics. Because you ate, you drank like eight ounces of piss milk and pus milk for like every breakfast, lunch, and dinner for. 
10 years. It's gross. Don't don't you think it's weird that we're more accepting to drink the milk of another animal than continuing to but suck on mummy's tits past 10? I just, oh, here we go again. <laughs> past 10? Did you just say past 10? <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, what's like what's the what's the age cutoff? Do you think for sucking for drinking your mom's milk? I'm just curious. realistically you think it's 10? like five. Uh, I think like ten. I think Jackson's right on the money. <laughs> oh, in that oh, what do you mean we have yeah. to stop? <laughs> ten twenty. Oh, um, twenty. Stop! Oh, <laughs> man, you think one more year? You think this girl goes to school, does fucking math homework, and it's like one more year of mom's milk, and then I'm out. <laughs> yeah, then I'll I'll be sober. I'll I'll, I'll, go, I'll get clean. <laughs> You're right. There's no quitting. There's no quitting if you've been they on stage for an intervention. Years. Yeah. <laughs> I just why did Laura, I think you that have the a problem? Yeah. Why did I think the mom just like stopped making milk after like God was like, hey, man, that's too you don't need to be pumping out anymore. It's been it's been a year. Like, stop. Don't you have, I don't don't care you have to what be God pregnant? wants. What, what, when do you start making I, milk? So that's what I thought. I thought there was a cutoff. I thought like at a certain point after you give birth, you stop producing the hormone. I think it's like prolactin, I think is what it called. Or, uh, I'm pretty sure that's uh, a brand of milk. <laughs> <laughs> prolactin. <laughs> it sounds like a lactose pill. Yeah, it's, it's some kind of like hormone that they only produce while pregnant. But I guess like, I guess you, I'm wrong. I thought that stopped after you gave birth, like after a year or so. But there are these breastfeeding mothers who mm. do it like forever. Why? Like I'm looking at some of the image like links that people are posting. Why? Why is it? I mean, I'm going to answer my own question. Why is it never like like the peak athletic family that's doing this. It's always like you look at them like, yeah, you look like you would breastfeed your kids for years. Like <laughs> what the fuck is a hypno birth? One hit, of the moms hit. here that's breastfeeding her adult children, basically Ch Cheryl, a hypno birthing teacher and Daula said, I think about when I'll stop all of the time. Is that a thing? Hypno birthing? Is that like hypno toad and he makes women give birth? What does that mean? It's, I don't know. Uh, what does hypnotherapy do again? Form That's where you of get put relaxation under, right? in order to help uh, them not I feel guess. the pain of labor. Just do oxy like a, a normal thing. person giving birth. <laughs> yeah. I don't like you're pushing out a yeah, human, bro. Give me, load me up. You signed on for pain when you took that load in the first <laughs> place. <laughs> Yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it's your fault. I was just saying, like, uh, there's going to be a, a, you know, a certain amount of pain that comes along with pushing out a child that, that you just have to accept. <laughs> Literally maybe nine months uh, beforehand. I'm sorry, but to give you guys, to describe it, uh, in the New York Post article about this woman, literally, there's like 10 photos and every single one is of her with her tits out breastfeeding. I feel like this is a fetish for her. She just wanted an image gallery of her boobs out. Like every single photo, it's just little children sucking on their tits. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. What, what's what's the age cutoff for you guys? I think whatever the doctor I says. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> <laughs> whatever the what says? The doctor. You know, if I if like if I have a kid, and, well, first of all, nobody's sucking on my tits. But if I had a kid. <laughs> And my wife was like, goes to the doctor and he's like, all right, time to wean that child off, like start feeding them solid foods or something. I don't know how babies work. Then I'm like, yeah, listen to the doctor. I don't know. I don't care what they say. I'm never going to quit eating cheese. I love cheese. Even if the, I eat whole even if the doctor comes to you and says, well, actually, uh, there's been scientific evidence on Reddit that points to breast milk from your mom being the best kind of nutrition that a baby can have. So we're going to keep him on that until he's at least 15. No. Are, no. are you, are you going to follow no, the doctor's my, advice then? No, because I'm going to, whoever no. marries me, I'm going to look her in the eyes. She's going to look me in the eyes and be like, that's fucking weird. No. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, not doing it. Yeah, we're, we're not doing that. No. But you Can't can buy work. other people's breast milk, right? Or still no. from Activision How offices, much? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I breast milk. I don't know. I, I, just, I just looked it up as well. <laughs> Can you? We, we looked this up like two weeks ago. There's a Wait, ton of companies yeah. that oh, sell that's a foundation. You have to be able to. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's not for that, perverts right. like you, Jackson. It's for like moms who can't breastfeed because of issues they may have. And so well, they how have are they to gonna I have issues. I can't breastfeed. <laughs> yeah, true. I also, I, I should probably get some. I have lack of ability. Uh -huh. What happens if you... If you drink your own breast milk, that's like an infinite amount of nutrition, right? Because it just keeps shit, going around. You're right. You can be fed forever. Well, that's, right? That's like that's the premise of drinking Dune. your own cum, Jackson. 
I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What if we like? What if we had those suits from Dune where it recycles your breast milk into your mouth? Well, it'd have to be like constantly pumping your tits. It'd be so <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> We'd never get anything done. <laughs> We don't know if those <laughs> if those Dune suits didn't have breast pumps in there automatically. Right. Yeah, I mean, is it more gross than drinking your own piss and sweat? Yes. Come on. Uh, yes. No. No. I mean, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just think the whole concept's pretty gnarly, but you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> that was the motto at Activision. Yeah. Oh um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's is you got to do what you want to do. It's not. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't understand how they keep fucking finding new ways to surprise me now. Like every every morning, I log on to Reddit and just wait to see what the next Activision based headline is. That's and crazy. still, Bobby Kotick won't fucking leave. I don't get it. They leave. hired. I, yeah, but they, they some they give us symbolic like little uh like in the Game Awards. Remember at the very beginning, the guy, the speaker was like, "You guys, I want to take a moment to say that harassment is our, in our industry is not okay." And then he presumably went off stage to steal titty milk. And I like also like they gave I that speech fine. immediately before playing a um Quantum Baby Dream Cage, trailer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That. that was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> more pandering i mean what were you i gonna think say? i think he's i think the ceo of, I, I don't maybe not bobby but somebody from activision blizzard sits on the board of the video game awards so i think that yeah. was uh <laughs> a tough one for him huh yeah yeah kind of hard to navigate that when there's that much money involved yeah. Kind of hard still to navigate just... standing up against him <laughs> like <laughs> like sexual assault trust me oh man he I really just can't believe to. the board is still on Bobby's side. He like actively went against them at every turn. They're still like, yeah, we love this guy. This guy's great. Well, because he stocked the board with all of his like best friends and shit. Yeah, yeah, but he still betrayed all of his friends. Like he literally kept all of them in the dark and lied to them constantly. And well, we, that's alleged. We don't know friends. They, they yeah. could be just as complicit. We I guess that's true. That is true. At this point, I think the you know allegedly is uh, is is I'm you could probably just go out and just claim it happened, and I'm sure somebody would be able to find some some proof of it. I feel like every single person, every single story that comes out, it's like another new name of somebody who's in the like head C level or like exec level. They just got a clean house. Get rid of it. Start anew. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. Um just last week, they caught the PSN something something CEO who was like trying to hook up with fifteen year olds on Grinder, and then I think another CEO was caught just this week trying mm. to do some shady shit like that. I forget who it was though. Maybe Chad can th- remind me. There, there was this. There was a CNN uh, news reporter. I'm pretty sure that might be what you're referring to because I don't Maybe remember any God. other CEOs. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of shit going on. Uh, but they just yeah. keep getting caught. Do you think do you think the internet would be more ready to move on if Activision actually released a good game? <laughs> You're, you oh, mean, yeah. yes, I honestly. It all takes is one Absolutely. banger of a video game and people are out here with the creator code. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not even. I mean, they still make money, don't they? Uh, it's, uh, keep in mind, like 99.9% of people are never, ever going to hear about these allegations or whatever. Like some 12-year-old sitting, sitting in an internet cafe in South Korea doesn't give a shit. About what Bobby, yeah, pe- Bobby Kotick is doing. People always talk about how many gamers there are. Like, we've just reached, like, 10 billion gamers, more than the population that's actually on <laughs> Earth or whatever. There's always, there's always, like, these big new numbers. But I think we really overestimate how many are actively engaged in the community and, like, you know, go on the Reddits and, and read the news and stuff like that. Like, I think that's still a small uh, minority. But you, you still hear about bro. it. It's like, you don't have to be, like, yeah, super still active to but, still but, hear about it. Maybe yeah, I was talking to like still... a financial advisor the other day and I was talking about like the Activision shit and he didn't even know what Activision was. So either I've got a really bad financial <laughs> advisor. What the fuck? Or... It's, a, it's like a $69 billion company. What <laughs> is uh, well, your well, fi- <laughs> <laughs> well he, he knew what Activision was, but he didn't know all the drama going on oh, around okay. it. Yeah, uh, I mean, I feel like it would be good to know that considering their stock fucking tanked as soon as yeah. it started coming out. Uh. Well, you're talking I'm telling you, like even <laughs> like my friend in Turkey who loves World of Warcraft or whatever and loves playing it. If I told him about this, he just he wouldn't never know about this. He doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't read English. 
It's just like you have these 10 dozen people on Reddit who think deleting their accounts is going to bring down this mammoth of a company that just doesn't give a shit. It's the, it's about the same anything. people who burn their Nike jerseys when LeBron like protests or something They're like, fuck it, I've had enough. <laughs> like this will show Reebok. Like, no, I don't think it will. Yeah. yeah. You're just going to have to buy I guess another it's jersey. Not like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, or like canceling your Netflix subscription and this and that. It's like, yeah, okay, I get your symbolic protest, but a lot of it just seems to be just you trying to flex on social media about what a virtuous person you are. And it's not it's never going to make a dent in their bottom line, bro. They don't but there's such a, a defeatist attitude looking at it that way because then you're exposed to the fact that there's nothing you can really do because there's just so many consumers on the planet that these companies will be fine without you or any kind of movement. So what's what's the course of action? How do you solve this? I, I honestly think the only way to like at all ever hurt these companies is like some internal, you know, whenever some employee leaks shit and yeah. they just, you know, they're like whistleblowing, I feel like. But those... even then you're still, you're still, there's so much like financial incentive on the part of the company to sweep it under the rug or to continue on like nothing yeah. ever happened, that it's still up to the consumers to vote with their wallets and historically consumers do not vote with their wallets so I don't know. That, no. that brings me to a question has that ever happened where there's been like a universally accepted case of we're going to stop buying this product because i can't think of anything off the top of my head I, no i don't know if there's going to be one I that i can so. think off the top of my head but like the, i mean quite often you see people pressure like advertisers to drop from shows yeah, that happens true. that does I mean, happen Right, but I don't know if anybody recently has yeah. been like, I hate ChapStick. They, like, <laughs> allegedly support genocide, and then, like, nobody buys ChapStick, and they go bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't give a someone shit. Said, someone said <laughs> Blockbuster, but that wasn't a movement based on... <laughs> I people love, really love Blockbuster. Don't get it twisted. Blockbuster was great, okay? Yeah, it was. And they just failed to adopt to the times. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was just a market shift that yeah. destroyed them, not like... People standing outside of Blockbuster HQ talking about how the Blockbuster <laughs> CEO stole titty milk. That never happened. I wish it did. <laughs> that would have been made for a fun uh, ending note for Blockbuster instead of going out in the sad way that they actually did. They yeah. didn't go out in a sad oh. way. They fought to the very end, God damn it! They didn't... What do you mean fought? They, they sat at home watching their rentals and let, just let it end. That's it. God That's damn it. Right. There was like that one in like Portland, right? That was like the mm -hmm. last remaining one for like five years. They had a Twitter account that was pretty funny. They were just like, please come. Oh. <laughs> like, it was we desperately need you. Yeah. Was it like a situation where as soon as like they had to have an employee stationed at the office at all times, otherwise it would be demolished? Like they had <laughs> yeah. to make sure someone was there. <laughs> <laughs> like saving the trees. Just, just like, we're not moving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had an employee chained to the front door. <laughs> Everybody needs to sleep. It's just true. It's just a fact. If you say that you don't need to sleep, you're a goddamn liar and you make me sick. So if everybody needs to sleep, then we may as well sleep on the very best thing money can buy, right? Unless you're some kind of masochist who loves to sleep on beds of broken glass and bricks and shit like that, I recommend Helix Sleep for your mattress needs. Helix Sleep has an awesome sleep quiz on their website that you can use to determine which kind of mattress is best suited for your body. I have a scoliosis, little known fact. I have scoliosis and that makes sleeping quite uh, uncomfortable sometimes with the way that my back bends unnaturally. So there's been many times where I've woken up with a sore back due to, you know, bad mattresses in my life. But that's never been the case with Helix Sleep, and that's entirely because I took that Helix quiz, and they sent me a mattress that was designed by God himself for my scoliosis ridden back. So if you're looking for a mattress, you take that quiz right now, you order that mattress you're matched to, and the mattress comes right to your door shipped for free. You don't ever need to go to a mattress store again. Let's get rid of mattress stores. So just go to helixsleep.com official, take their two-minute sleep quiz, and they'll match you to a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life, Helix also has a 10 year warranty and you get to try it for 100 nights risk free. They'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it. But come on, you're going to love it. It's a Helix mattress. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows as well for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash official. Thank you, Helix. So, uh, Tucker, last mm -hmm. time... 
you probably remember this about the official podcast because it's a staple of ours. We talk about masturbation and jerking off and now titty milk a lot, apparently. Those are all staples in our wheelhouse. That's what we're known for. That's what we do. I wanted to know, do you jerk off more now than you did when you were 14 or younger? Like, Do I you don't... think... <laughs> Go ahead. You can finish. No, 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 no. no. I don't want to finish. <laughs> uh, yeah. finish no, I definitely do not jerk off more than I did when I was 14. Like when I, when I, when I discovered the joys of masturbation, I mean, that was like a, that was like a, all right, like a nightcap, got to go to bed, better jerk off first. Like it was just, you know, I was horny and, uh, and I was going through puberty, but I mean, yeah. No. So where do you think the shift happened? Do you think the, the first year was always the most, uh, dangerous i guess the most the most amount that you would jerk off usually or, or I think do you it think comes there's a in waves, later on? you know like like you know like jerking off quite a bit when i found out and then you know you get your first girlfriend or some girlfriends and you're like all right jerking off a little less and then you know <laughs> like when you're saying whoa, it depends minute, honestly on if there's options for me right that sounds like you just gave up like you're a quitter yeah i'm not a you, quitter you i just delegated off any less when you get a girlfriend now you have double the fun um, you're not wrong, right? I guess. Um, I just would rather, you know, why save, do it yourself if somebody seed. else could do it for you? <laughs> like, That's true. True. Yeah. Yeah. I'm lazy. <laughs> I, this like is probably going to go against. Jerk off more? Well, oh, I was going to say, I n almost never really jerked off when I was younger. For me, it was like a big ceremony when it was like when I was you ready. You also had OCD. <laughs> Yeah, so I used to, yeah. You know, it was like a big song and dance. So I'd only ever like masturbate once every three to six months. Holy what? shit. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, those must oh have been some God. big juicy balls. That's probably dude. why I still have wet dreams to this day. I just never yeah, got probably. it all out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this cum you left onto your cum. DNA, basically. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> Ew. Like 50% uh, cum at this point. <laughs> Ew. But yeah, you need to go like a solid week of just jerking off 24-7 to just get everything back in balance, I think. Yeah, I'm probably still running off my old sperm from back then. Like, it's still just been <laughs> stockpiled waiting for action. <laughs> it's just it's just finely aged, barrel-aged cum. <laughs> Oh, no. does, does sperm have a use by date like do the sp little individual sperms have an age that they have to die by or right? live by yeah because like they can't just well, like yeah yeah do you can't just jerk off onto a table and leave it there for years jackson like, no but like what the fuck is it? sperm what what do you mean <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> a little it's little people in there yeah, so what the, <laughs> yeah i know i know that i know that but cells. like i that's just blowing my mind. Are they sending it? Do they know that they're sperm? Or, or are they, no. Or are they, or are they just the running on like If they were pure... sentient, then you'd be committing genocide every time you nut. You're just like, <laughs> like millions of millions of deaths. No, they have like one thing they need to do and it's swim to the egg. And that's the whole thing. It's a race. Did you ever like, did they do the sex ed where you grew up? Yeah, no, no. I know I know what the goal of sperm is and stuff, but I, it's just blowing my mind that they're like all moving. And like, so that if they, eventually die off due to like age or whatever I, I i i don't know that's just hard for my mind to wrap around are that like why what causes them to die and how does something <laughs> like that even die jackson are you just pondering <laughs> the mysteries of life and death right now you sound really distraught <laughs> yeah you also really thought about sound sound like a lovecraftian creature like how can <laughs> yeah. it die if it was never alive how do we kill it <laughs> It's not a spooky ghostly entity, it's just it is cut. It's, it's like kind of little puddles of thousands of living things. Well, are they living? They're not it's living. Just as yes. much as your cells no, are living. Not. Yeah. Technically, yeah. yes, but they're not they're not humans. How like this that's hard to pass though. If they're not living, how are they do they how do they have an agenda or a goal? <laughs> Jackson, are you just getting <laughs> guilt over masturbating so much now? No, they deserved yeah. it for being in my balls, but I just want to know <laughs> why. You know jellyfish, right? Like, your sperm are just like jellyfish. Jellyfish are living there, yeah. right? Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're living, not. but they're... Yes, well, they are. No. <laughs> they're animals. They're alive, guys. I promise. <laughs> they they are, but they... It's, this is they ain't weird. got no brain. <laughs> yeah, they don't. That, that's what I'm trying to say. They don't have a brain. They don't have stimulus. They just kind of exist. But so do so all like your sperm. cells. What do you think your cells do? 
They're alive, <laughs> but they don't have a brain, and they do one thing. That's how you're alive. It's like, but are they okay, living? So a yes. Sperm an animal? Then you're confusing <laughs> living with you're confusing living with sentient. I can't, is this a pit? <laughs> Doctor Jericho. Right <laughs> Jer Jericho is literally like, are these guys that retarded? And yes, well, we are. It's not a pit. <laughs> For some reason, over the last month or something, Jackson's been hit by like a stupid beam. So he just has like, <laughs> like he's like wrong and like way off the mark on like everything recently. Like, <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> oh fuck. Oh man! But the, no, it, the, think about it, Charlie. How are they living? How are they living if they don't if they don't have a, like a a soul or a <laughs> <laughs> like? Tuck is saying they're like jellyfish now, which is just crazy. Oh, you, can, you can argue that every individual sperm has a soul, Jax. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, pretty I, much. Yeah. Like, like you you have souls, that's fine. Do jellyfish have souls? Probably. No, no, if you want to, like, if you want to believe that. No, yeah. it's like they're carried away. <laughs> yeah, well, come on, guys. This, uh, there's a science we're talking about here. If I've been I mean, hit by the stupid Ray Charlie, explain to me. I, like, a sperm, what, what happens when they die? They go to they heaven. Die. <laughs> <laughs> God's just taking infinite loads for Jackson. Five seconds. Like, what happens when they die? Jackson, you sound like someone needs to rub you on the back and remind you everything's okay. Like, are you they go right? to the big sock in the sky? Good Lord. I'm weeping for all the unbelievers. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a five. -year like when you give the birds and the bees talk to a little child or something. Like, well, why you sperm? Like, what happens with that? Good Lord. <laughs> You, you guys are acting like I'm crazy, but you guys can't even figure out if jellyfish are alive or not. Well, no, they're, okay, they're alive. no, it's very simple. They're alive. Yeah, they're yeah alive. that was pretty easy. I'm just they're a definitely alive. Moron. <laughs> yeah, they're alive. But they're dumb. Okay, so they're seaweed just, alive? They do. They, they they respond to stimuli in the exact same way that sperm does. No, they, they don't. don't. Sting you. No, they don't. And jellyfish <laughs> jellyfish don't even respond to stimuli really. They don't care. They can, they and they do, like lights and stuff. Jellyfish <laughs> are multi-cell organisms, right? Your sperm, one cell. So jellyfish, more complicated, but still alive, I promise. <laughs> like, the mitochondria, right? Or like the cell that exists, your fucking T cells that stop COVID from attacking you, right? They're alive, but they're not sentient, just like a jellyfish. They're, they're do, equal. Do jellyfish have sperm? That actually, I don't know. I think they self-reproduce yeah. like sea cucumbers, right? Do they, I think they, they just bud. bud. I think they yeah. bud. Oh, yeah. ooh, that's, uh, that, even, yeah. that, and that in itself is weirder than anything. Agreed. It's kind of like, all right, fuck it, we're out of here. So when you said that sperm are single-celled organisms, what does that mean? Like, is. they're just made of one thing? One they cell? Are, yeah, they're literally yeah, one They're made thing. of cum. <laughs> so <laughs> a, a nucleus, <laughs> right, that cycle. stores all yeah. of the... All of the DNA, like all of the, basically sperm is like a little bomb of like you, you know, and its job is to get in there and nuke the egg, like Independence Day, pretty much, you know, where they fly well, How do they know it. that if they're not sentient? I That's think I'm on I Jackson's mean. side. No, they're coded me. for it. Their whole like literally in their DNA, the, old, the DNA, the little fucking... <laughs> See, I, I now, we're just, now we're just now we're just getting into like why why does life work like what? <laughs> so, but if we need who, to know that who programs the DNA? Yeah, it's a very important like step to understanding what sperm is How and what their agenda is. When it's just electricity, like electrical signals, like what's going on there? <laughs> Honestly, so I don't then know. could we could we reprogram them? Yeah, to uh, what? sort of to do to what, run though? away from I, eggs I don't know. instead. Oh, I, I guess that would be a good awesome contraception. If you call like, <laughs> take, yeah, like male contraception. Like we take a pill and our cum just runs away from the egg. It's safe. Well, it just could always have, runs it could towards have a the negative girl's effect mouth. Where the sperm is constantly <laughs> trying to run back up your cockle. How do I, I hack that. the cum to come to, 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 to do not what it was meant to do? I don't know. CRISPR uh, RNA. Yeah. I don't fucking know. CRISPR I have to is jack what they into the mainframe. Hey. Just, I just want my cum to always heat seek like women's tits and faces instead of their eggs. Like, can we do that? It doesn't have like wings. It's not your load can't collectively like ah. Wind currents. We know missiles. what to do. It's yeah. these little like parachutes and they're just riding the current up. <laughs> little jetpacks. Oh my god. I don't know. Yeah, but like, how do they? How do they navigate the maze that is a woman's vagina? Isn't it pretty yeah. straightforward? Yeah, it's no. kind of just is like it? a single road. 
No, it's yeah. not. I, I watched something on this All recently. A woman's vagina is like a fucking war zone for sperm. There's tons of fucking traps and nooks and crannies for them to fuck up. And because the whole point is, well, the whole point is not yeah, only survival of the game. finished, but you only want one sperm. If you get more than one penetrating the egg, it fucks everything up. You want one. Sounds so like you, a Isn't that how you end up with like twins and shit. <laughs> Actually, that, I was laughing because I thought that was a dumb idea, but then I thought about it. I mean, hey, I don't know. God. It would have to be, right? Oh, is it when the like the cell like no, the, it's when the, the cell, cell divides. eventually splits? Yeah. yeah okay. But yeah, it's, God, we're stupid. It's, it's, yeah, you know yeah, what? We're so dumb. This is Jesus. <laughs> And people like us are deciding when abortions can happen. And we're out here like, so honestly, how does cum get there? Like, I just don't what know. Have, <laughs> what? How many abortions are you deciding happen? I've never had that. I'm not, I, was personally saying, I, was, I was generalizing. Them. They call Jericho oh, in when one's like happening men. and they're like, tell us the time, <laughs> Jericho's on the board. <laughs> He's on the board hey, for abortions. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm like, hey, just if you guys want to, I think you should have abortion up to like 18 years. Like if your kid gets through school and it's just not doing it for you, just send them back. Like, sorry. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, try again. Yeah. I still have my breast milk purchasing pages up on my screen. And <laughs> How much are they? Huh. I, it's, I, I don't actually don't see a price. I think it's something you negotiate with the mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still, I still, yeah. No. I think sperm is just one hurdle that mankind will never climb over. We will never understand their the motives. Cosmos, or... <laughs> the cosmos and <laughs> sperm. It's like, <laughs> I can't grasp it. Imagine okay. if we could get to the point where we could learn to communicate with the sperm. We can know what they're thinking. I Isn't that what talking that. to people are? Aren't we just communicating with with sperm? Like you were just, so just calm raised. Yeah, you used to be a sperm, Jackson. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I don't remember it. You're a fully cooked cream pie, my friend. <laughs> yeah, man. Gross. <laughs> mm, didn't like that, huh? Oh, well, thanks for opening that door, Jackson. I feel like I learned a lot today, or I'm dumber. I don't yeah. really know. To be yeah, I feel like I know less. Really. Yeah, I'm not our, sure. Comes like jellyfish. It's just yeah. It's asked more questions. I'm not even sure about where like jellyfish stand in the world hierarchy. Yeah, very high like, up. They've been around for a while. Though. <laughs> Some of them are immortal, which is pretty cool. Wait, really? Yeah, there's yeah. a species of jellyfish that never dies. Yeah. So they keep reverting back to their baby stage or some shit, right? I forget what they're called. What was it? Teratopsis natricula or something? It was something like that. Yeah. How every the hell time are you going to they... pull that out of your ass? <laughs> that was impressive. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't so, quote I me. Mean, <laughs> I mean, that's cool, though. So, like, they, I mean, hey, let's figure out how that works so that we can be immortal, probably. Yeah. Well, we... oh, I want that so bad. Well, that immortality would kind of suck. You'd hit like 80 years old and then you'd go back to being a baby. It's like, fuck. And then you have to go through like oh, puberty yeah. again and everything. Maybe it's a situation where you have to like, like with breast milk, you consume it to gain its power. So you just, does anyone eat jellyfish? Yeah, I, don't think you I can. think you can. I feel like you can them. just eat stem cells, right? No, you, you definitely can't. Like I do know some dishes with jellyfish and it's, but not like any jellyfish. You would have to cut um, off the stingers, of course. Otherwise your mouth would be sore. But I think mm. it could be done because it's just you know a gelatinous it be material. Yucky. Yeah, Ooh, that texture is in a jellyfish. Yeah, I, I looked it up. It looks like shit. Yeah, oh, this looks when awful. I say jellyfish, I just want to fucking kick it and punt it back into the ocean. Like when I, I was feel sorry for up, jellyfish. I hate them. What a Why? what a joke of a creature. <laughs> joke. I mean, they fucking, jellyfish they, don't they have to pay taxes. Joke. That is a good point. <laughs> they just they just they don't have any responsibilities. They don't even they just yeah. fucking. Jackson, they can't, just exist. they can't even think. So your insult to them, they don't even care. Well, we only True. we we think that they can't think, but we don't. Surely we, they might. No, we, don't. we know they <laughs> don't. Do do? <laughs> we're we're pretty good at. I think I think they me you measure like the brain, like uh, uh, electro. I don't fucking know what I'm gonna say. They don't think. <laughs> I know for a fact. We know. We're pretty certain. They don't. <laughs> so do Maybe you think they're it would be ethical to kill jellyfish? Well, wait, 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 wait. Jericho, yeah, what? of course. I think it was ethical even if they could think. They suck. They just float around the ocean yeah, doing nothing. Yeah, they do. Isn't um, it awesome how, like... Sorry, go. 
I was just gonna say maybe they else. think on a wavelength or like in a in a way that we couldn't even <laughs> comprehend, like the aliens from Arrival. Like high oh, life like is like a movie, the Jackson. That's right. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> my life be like a movie for real. <laughs> Some people do uh, eat them though, so there is that. If you want to start eating them and see how that feels, Jackson. No, nah, do they have a nutritional value? I looked it up. They're not very rich in anything at all. So apparently they're just really salty. So they use them as kind of Ew. just like a little additive for extra salt. Just salt, salt is so hard to find. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, a Gross. single cup of jellyfish is 5,620 milligrams of sodium per serving, which is 234% the daily value. Oh, God. Or one cup of noodle. Yeah, it's yeah. like the same thing. <laughs> so what I'm hearing is, so, uh, I mean, jellyfish are just salt that's able to attack, <laughs> like able to fight back, basically. I don't, just think it even fights, I don't even think it fights back. Like, you know, if you put spikes on your car, like your car doesn't fight back. It just doesn't want to be robbed. That's what no, the, no. Jellyfish is like, just fucking leave me alone. No, jellyfish don't even think that far. You can fucking do whatever you want to a jellyfish and it just, that's it. It happened. It doesn't retaliate. It doesn't think it doesn't care. It doesn't respond. Well, that's pretty so much jellyfish more. That's most animals are in the more, sea, though. Hmm. Yeah, but I, I was gonna say like, are jellyfish mm. more plant or more animal? They're more animal. I, I'm, gonna, like go, I'm gonna say more plant. Fuck it. <laughs> Tucker's just gonna walk away from this like significantly <laughs> stupider. <laughs> I'm literally gonna. I'm, 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 just I'm, exasperated. I was like, hey, I gotta gotta do this podcast, and then I'll meet up with somebody. I'm gonna go to lunch, and I'm gonna sit down and be like, so guys. Do you know how cum works? It just <laughs> like, please. Because my mind's been blown. <laughs> oh, <laughs> about cum. Where is what I'm is gonna that order some about? breast milk at this lunch, by the way, if you guys don't mind. Oh my god. <laughs> like people who carry little bottles of hot just sauce little... in their pockets. Just... <laughs> Jackson's lunchbox is jellyfish and breast milk. <laughs> oh my the breakfast of champions, baby. The diet that works. Yeah. I'm oh. training my cum to think for themselves. Yeah, I'm so Ooh, tired of my cum being dependent on me. It needs to do its own shit. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Everyone, everyone shut the fuck up for a minute. We all know how hard it is to make something out of nothing. I mean, just the thought of turning that big idea into reality can feel overwhelming. And how do you even get started? Well, maybe you could start with Fiverr. Maybe you could realize that 25% of people that have had a business idea in the past 18 months have barely acted on it. 60% of those people never even pursued it because they had no resources. Well, that's where Fiverr is going to help you. A lot of you listening to the show know that I have been learning guitar for the last, I don't know, 10 minutes, and it's hard. Instruments are hard. But not when you can go on Fiverr and say, hey, can you help me transcribe this music? Hey, can you help me learn this piece? Hey, can you provide me a video lesson on how to do this thing? Hey, can you teach me these fundamentals of music? Can you teach me anything? Because they have skilled musicians on there, guitar or other instruments. You can have people help you with design. You can have people help you with editing. You can have people help you with brainstorming ideas. Fiverr can help you do everything and i use fiverr for tons of my projects you all out there listening know that charlie and i both have giant hilarious amazing youtube channels with millions and billions of, of, of blah, 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 millions and billions of subscribers respectively and you better fucking believe we tackle people on fiverr every now and then when we need a little hand every successful something was once nothing head to fiverr.com and turn nothing into something today Receive 10% off of your first order by using code OP at F-I-V-E-R-R dot com. That's F-I-V-E-R-R, so two R's in Fiverr, dot com, and use code OP to get 10% off your first order. I use it constantly. I don't know how else to explain to you that I use it for tons and tons of projects, and I'm really, really cool and funny and good at what I do, and now you know I can thank Fiverr for it. Code OP at Fiverr dot com for 10% off. Uh, uh, man. Did you guys, did you guys see uh, Crazy Frog is back? Remember, you're into music. 
Yeah. Talk, you were talking about owning an EDM. Uh, Crazy you know, Frog was the thing. original, uh, like the first. I remember when they that started getting popular again back yeah. in like middle school because you saw those ringback tone commercials yeah. and you knew that shit was popping. And man, it, his return has been a sad one. Man, have What's, you guys seen? Oh, as soon as he came back on Twitter, I, I don't oh, know what I'm talking Like he was a person. Oh. Um, as soon as that brand came back on Twitter and, you know, made the return, I, I knew that this was leading only towards one direction and it was NFTs and I was correct. <laughs> now, now Crazy Frog uh, is an NFT. Wait, I don't understand. Why is Crazy Frog a person and not the song that remixed Axel F? Like, I don't understand. This is not like... You're obviously not up to date on your Crazy Frog lore. I have no fucking clue. I I tried to explain cum. Can you explain Crazy Frog <laughs> to me? I think they're equal. <laughs> yeah, so there's cum. a frog character, and he made a remix of Axel F and some other songs. Right. And, and the characters from the music video, and then he went away because no one cared. But now he's back, and he's an NFT. That's it. That so I can buy, what you're yeah. saying is for millions of dollars, I can buy the original Crazy Frog. I have no fucking idea. But what I do okay. know is... An individual is, picture of Crazy no, Frog. That sorry, sorry a string, string of, a string of, of numbers that keys. say I buy it. I buy it. Yeah. I, buy, I, I buy it. I buy it. I don't know. I, just, I am you getting dumber. This is we crazy. It's so stupid. quick. That's the official podcast, be studying podcast, the baby. official podcast Holy effect shit. for years to come. I don't know why, but somebody sent me a picture of the Joker hugging the crazy frog who was pregnant from behind the other day, and now I gotta find it because I was like, why did? It... So maybe I was, maybe I knew he was coming back all along. Yeah, you get uh, the insider info. I always hated Crazy Frog because it was always just a fucking annoying ringtone, like just the most annoying thing, even back then. But it's just so sad to see it come back as an excuse to sell NFTs. Well, it's not just that you're kind of doing it a disservice. He, he also made a new song too. Whoa! Yeah, but that was all. That was all just to like advertise the NFT, basically. Like they're trying to get some attention so they can make a quick buck by selling NFTs. That's Do you want to hear something it crazy though? Is. So Crazy Frog, it's been dead for a long time, right? We can all safely say that. Well, the, in retirement. Yeah, the channel has eleven point six million subs. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Christ. Did you look yeah. at how much the original video has? It has over a billion yep. plays. 3.1 billion plays. And actually, to be God, fair to why? Crazy Frog and the Crazy oh, Frog Jesus team, Christ. they haven't been dead for 10 years. They came back three years ago with the not so Crazy Frog, 21 million views. Jingle Bells, 53 mil. Uh, I like to move it, 104 mil and 170 mil. So they've posted eight videos in the last three years and a couple of them are over 100 million views but all of them are over 20 oh yeah so children. they've been doing really well youtube children hmm. just post yeah. fucking anything like that and they don't get a million views no uh, it's been popping yep. off yeah so you're gonna buy the nft uh, i'll bid on it how much do you think it'll sell for if they they open the fucking floodgates how much do you think crazy frogs are actually gonna make uh, I mean, it depends on if you get the fucking maxi boys on there, right? Either it either sell for like two hundred thousand dollars or like twenty five million, and nowhere in between. Yeah, <laughs> yeah probably. <laughs> I don't think I don't it'll know. sell for much. I'll go against the grain. I yeah, so these me memes too. and stuff never really pop off for NFTs because the people that trade NFTs just look for things to sell mm -hmm. later to other mm -hmm. dumb people. So like crypto punks, board apes, stuff like that. I think that's far harder to do with something like Crazy Frog. I agree. I don't, I don't know. know. I feel like it. there's going to be one eccentric idiot who just wants to be able to say he owns Crazy Frog now. Nobody does that. There is nobody that actually likes owning NFTs for the sake of owning them. They only own them to sell them to someone else. So I don't think that's going to no, happen. No, I think I'm there's sure there are no. some idiots that actually have yeah. an NFTs. Right, and they're, yeah. the, they're, the target the end, they're the target end of the speculative market. The smart people take NFTs because they want to flip them for no. money on dumb people who think they're worth anything. Guys, there's a roadmap for the NFTs. They're going to have a crazy frog token. They're going to have a gummy bear NFT. Ooh, they're going to have exclusive no, no. merch. How the fuck are you gonna have a uh, a timeline and like part of the timeline <sighs> says more NFTs? What does that even mean? We're gonna do it again <laughs> like, and again. I fucking hate NFTs so much. It's like actually exasperating me. 
god, every single day it's another fucking company going down this goddamn shitter road. Now, what is it, Ubisoft? They're now selling yeah. crypto NFTs or something. They're like calling it Ubisoft Quartz or some shit. Yeah. <sighs> well, they, they, had so, to post, they had to postpone it, but it's coming. They, it, it's, it, it's just a matter of there's time. Too much money, there's yeah. too much money in there for them to, a company like Ubisoft to ignore it. And they're always like, prime shit is in the real estate of scamming their audience well fucking discord wanted to I do e nfts but they i think canceled it because the audience was so against it i fucking hate these companies i hate oh man i hate ubisoft so fucking much i don't so people rightfully give activision shit and riot shit well not not riot so much because arcane just came out now people love riot again but they did give them shit when their sex scandals were happening or whatever I don't understand why Ubisoft gets a fucking pass. Not only did they make me play Assassin's Creed Valhalla, they also have just as many sexual allegations, sexual assault allegations as every other company, yet they get a fucking pass because just because they ignored Jackson, it. Because consumers, Jackson, consumers' <laughs> morals do not matter nearly as much as their enjoyment. They don't give it's a It's not so much flying... the morals, I just wish there was a little bit of consistency. No, they don't it's give a, a well, flying they did something fuck. Nah. As long the as they is, get their new game. Ubisoft it. just isn't as popular as Activision Blizzard either. They're not as beloved. Most people don't like Ubisoft. What but, are you talking about? They're massive. Well, okay, you don't see a lot of Ubisoft fanboys going crazy on Twitter. Like, Uplay is the best. We love Uplay. But you see that for Blizzard all the time. Blizzard only makes the best games ever. World I don't Warcraft see any love online for Blizzard's Bnet no. launcher or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, I love, I love think Blizzard. Battle like... Net. Yeah, Big Blizzard game. was think, Blizzard was a lot like Bethesda in terms of how much it was revered. Ubisoft yes. has never had that reputation ever. I disagree. Awesome. I, no, I think no, they no. have had that reputation. Literally, no. I agree with Charlie. There's no yeah, way Blizzard was close. like the paramount highest, like arcane. Yeah, I don't know if I use that word right. Like with WoW and stuff, there was nobody better of the community. And then same yeah. with like CD Projekt Red. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like Those Jack were always CD like the two champions. Red. Earlier in the episode too, I don't know if Andrew was there yet, but like, I, I think Blizzard got more booze when they announced the Diablo mobile game than they ever did for any of these allegations. Like, people genuinely oh, just yeah. don't give a shit. People care more about their consumption than their and ethics, NFTs. and that is that's how it's been for a long fucking time. You could have the director of the newest Marvel movie come out and be like, oh, I slap women. I don't respect them. Any any actress on my set, I spit in her fucking coffee. And the movie would still gross box office records. People Guys, don't care. I they have to don't admit, care. I admit, you know those fruit cups? Dole, love them, right? Even though they <laughs> overthrew an entire government, I gotta say they make great fruit cups and I yeah. still buy them. What, what did they do? What? The Dole well, Fruit Company yeah, Dole, helped overthrow yeah, the, the government of, like, Panama. In, yeah, like, it was yeah. fucking wacky. <laughs> they they brought was, tons of bananas by train. Isn't yeah. that what you're talking about? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was yeah. some crazy shit. And so it was, it was like, like the Banana Republic Wars or something. Yeah, something yeah the clothing banana. company got a lot of shit for that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is amazing. I'm going Lululemon. In 1893, no, they started a coup. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Because no, no, yeah. because those 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 companies down in like uh, what's it called Latin? What's the middle of America? Central Latin America. America. Latin America. Central America. Yeah. So the, oh, the, those countries' GDPs were basically just entirely their banana, you know, their banana picking companies. So they had a lot of power, and uh, like other countries' governments used to fund those banana companies to overthrow democratic institutions keep in mind this is countries. this is before like antitrust laws and huge sweeping reforms of economic change in the americas so this is when companies just bought politics just straight like yeah. they still do it today God, but they're a lot more subtle nowadays. about it yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, we fix that. that one guys yeah whoo conflict avoided but no this is this is back when companies were just like oh i don't like that law I think I'll change it with my money. And they would just brazenly walk in and start fucking buying things how they wanted it. Because they could. Now they have to actually put effort into doing it on the side. Yeah, the they're being persuasive. Yeah. What uh, a wild story. I've never words. heard of this. Yeah. yeah. Really? It shaped a lot of human history. Now you, to, now, now you learn. Two. Does Dole make those fruit cocktails? The, the little uh, fruit cocktail jars? 
Oh my god! I they think do. they make a shit ton of everything. Yeah, they make a ton yeah. of fruit related stuff. You funded it, didn't you, Charlie? I used to, so when I was a kid and I was a real creature of habit. My dinner almost every night was ziti and dole fruit cocktail. I guess. Oh, you yeah, supported I, a coup. I did. I bet my ZD company I got from also was like Nestle or something. So I also supported like a genocide. So <laughs> good for you. That's God, what yeah, most nice. big corporations are built on, though. Genocide. Yeah, oh, yeah. Without, without, without nobody cracking a few cares. eggs. It just, I don't know. I, like Jackson, you say I'm a defeatist, but I don't know what to tell me. Like, I dare you to find a single product in your entire home that is not at least partially That's made in I'm China. Saying. Yeah. And we're like... Plus, I, I don't want to live in a world like anyway with slave labor, banana cocktails or whatever. I don't like, want to live in a world without China. Yeah, they make so much yeah, stuff. Yeah, they, I, you know, this whole they make some good stuff. I don't know what's the big deal. Yeah. The bananas or China? Yes, <laughs> both. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the fucking there's a fucking meme going around. I don't, I'm sure you guys have heard it. There's no ethical consumption under capitalism. You hear that? No oh, cringe. <laughs> It, no, I mean, it is, is it? but at the same time, it's completely true. Like, any time you dig it inside is, of capitalism, I don't you think there's any better system. I that, mean, that, you, yeah, yeah, but that's always used by people who, like, they'll shit on Jeff Bezos for 20 fucking hours straight, and then the next five minutes, their door will ring, and they get, like, 20 Amazon deliveries. It's like, yeah, I know there's an ethical consumption, but, like, you're not just consuming to stay alive. You're, like, reveling in capitalism like a pig in mud. You know, I mean, just the only, used by all the these people thing, who fill me, their rooms with Funko baby. Pops and shit. The only when thing you just buy an iPhone, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, and I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not. I don't hate fucking Apple. Why wouldn't I? I like I my iPhone. Can, I think you can. You can both be a part of the system and and draw attention Critique to some of the things yeah, that are good. Yeah, that's that's what like, I was I'm gonna, not gonna can. Yeah, I'm not I gonna agree. fucking move. To I agree. KN. I'm just saying the people. A lot of the people who critique it are like the biggest consumers out there. That's my issue. It's like by what metric? You know the the one fucking that one comic that's like ruined online discourse, and I know everyone's seen it. Is that XKCD? woman carrying a bundle of sticks? Oh, no. <laughs> no, that woman carrying a bundle of sticks, and there's a guy in a well saying, "Oh, why do you participate in society if you don't like it or whatever?" It's like, bro, you're not you're not a woman like breaking her back in peasant Russian times or whatever the fuck. That like, comic you're, you're is literally making fun of exactly what you're saying right now. Did you read the whole comic? That's what I mean. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. why he's bringing it up. That's, that's why he's that saying frame? No, so the guy in the well is what the subject of being made fun of is. That's not actual critique. Yeah, it's, he's like, it's parody of that. Well, that's yeah, that's why he's bringing it, it up. It, oh, I see. That. Okay. Yeah, okay. It, it's he's making fun of the guy in the well for saying oh, you participated yeah, yeah, I got in it. I get yeah, the yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. We're all on the same page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying, like, the, the people who use that cartoon, like, you... No, Kaya, you fucking moron. <laughs> there is no ethical consumption under capitalism, Kaya. The orange shirt man is the dumb one, Kaya. That's who we're making fun of. Yes, I gotcha. And the sticks are I iPhones, I yeah, think. Yeah, and the well represents poverty and capitalism. <laughs> is the castle in the background China? It could be. It's, <laughs> it's dull. You might be reading too much into that now. <laughs> what do the colors represent? Oh, well... What were we saying? We just fixed America, I think. We did. That's why you should exclusively oh. buy YouTuber merch. True. Because <laughs> it's definitely... And NFTs. <laughs> Listen, if you really care about the environment, buy my Gildan Blanks, okay? That's the only way that you're going to make a difference. Hey, that's the truth, baby. And problem solved. Code Jericho at checkout, baby. Get it while it's hot. <sighs> All right, All right, yes. Yeah, I think we can wrap there. Uh, Tucker, thank you for your second visit to the podcast. Sorry about uh, everything, pretty much. All, <laughs> all Just 90 every, minutes. Sorry, every, every moment minutes. of it. No, it's sorry, great, man. Sorry for actively making you stupid <laughs> for think, having participated. <laughs> it's just, it's I, we're all trending down towards like one brain cell. You guys just help speed it up a little bit, but um, yeah, no, it's we're, always We're good. reverting yeah. back to the single cell sperms or whatever the fuck you said. <laughs> yes, full Tucker circle, I love like it. <laughs> Oh my god. Actually, right, it might so, be nice. Uh, Mr. Boner, if you would, mm -hmm. please shout out where our lovely audience can find you. Sure. Uh, I stream pretty much every day on Twitch under the name Jericho. And um, 
If you guys do want to use any of my uh, labels music, feel free to uh, do so. Night Mode is the uh, is the name of it. And uh, no, it's always great mm -hmm. to be on here, guys. So if you will have me later, like three more years, that'd be great. Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait to see what's happening. We'll, we'll go ahead and pencil it in now. We'll just put it in the books. Yeah, yeah I'll just get it. We'll be even Not dumber. Even Perfect. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. You're gonna be talking to like twelve year old children. <laughs> oh, oh, Jericho. So. oh Jericho, oh, if you want a good wild ride, just read the comments on most episodes if you're just like okay. insecure about saying stupid shit, because they will they will be <laughs> quick to correct anything we've said. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to read the essays about <laughs> why know. sperm Here's feel. Here's why you're wrong about jellyfish. One page of 38. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Tucker, did you say where, where people can find you in terms of Night Mode? Yeah, uh, just, just Night Mode in Spotify. It'll pop up or at Night Mode on Twitter. And I definitely recommend checking out the fan run page on Twitter for those out of context moments that they're yeah. great. I love them. Um, yeah. Thanks for joining us, man. It was super nice to have you back. Awesome mm -hmm. guys. Uh, I'm going to go try and uh, live my life. Not thinking about everything we just talked about. <laughs> yeah, just as quickly as possible. Just forget that it happened. I think yeah. Yeah, just <laughs> send the recording and immediately forget. And probably it would be safe to block us all on whatever <laughs> just, social media you can find. Exactly. <laughs> Because, uh, I, I, yeah, we're just going to keep sending you dumb questions. Oh, yeah. I'm here for it. All right. Uh, thank you, everyone, for listening to the official mm -hmm. podcast. I appreciate you sticking around for this hour and a half. Um, we've got a Patreon over at patreon.com slash the official podcast. You can go find bonus content there. That's where we put all of our educator takes. That's where all the smart stuff mm -hmm. is. So if yes. you want to hear and all what... our episodes are um, ethically sourced, organic, no NFTs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's beautiful stuff hardly any Jacksons were yeah. harmed in the production mm -hmm. um, yeah so go check it out there we'd appreciate seeing you around there if you're so inclined but that's up to you thank you for listening mm -hmm. we'll see you next time thanks everyone bye bye, bye. bye everybody